Hey guys, welcome to day 59, and I want to say, hey, welcome to my vlog. If you haven't been here before, my name is Josh, and I am on a quest for carnivore for health. I'm doing this to eliminate sugar and carb from my diet using an elimination diet or maybe even known as carnivore. Again, this is day 59 of my journey um, and I have lost weight. I have reversed uh, some pre-diabetes. I have started to heal some other things in my body. I don't want to give away everything just yet because I want to wait for 90 days. I want to get the full 90 days and then do a full review. But tomorrow we are going to talk a lot. Tomorrow I wanted to make an announcement. Uh, tomorrow I am going to go live. That's right. I am going to go live tomorrow so we can try and um, just talk and, and uh, any of the, the, the comments and questions. Uh, we're going to probably go live. I'm going to, sh I'm going to shoot from anywhere from eight to nine o'clock <laughs> um, Eastern time. Um, so eight or nine o'clock Eastern time. So whatever time zone that is for you, uh, if you want to be there just to say hi um, whatever it is, you know, just to pop in, if you have a question or if you have a comment, if you want to discuss something, whatever it is, I just wanted to make an announcement for my 60th day for my sort of like two month anniversary, I'm going to go live and we will do a little bit of talking. I don't know how long we'll go live. We'll just play it by ear. Um, but, uh, keep an eye out for that. If you don't have an alert box, uh, click on me, click the alert. So that way, you know. But in any case, all right, guys, so today, um, today is the almost the end of day, uh, wow, what is it? It's only Tuesday, right? Yeah. Oh, no, today's Wednesday. I don't know what I was thinking. So, yes, this is the end of day three um, of clean eating, clean B, 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 and E. So, and I've been true to form. I have not even... I haven't even tasted anything with garlic or like, cause normally like if, um, if, if I make like say cheeseburgers for my family, right. I might bite a piece of cheese cause that's carnivore safe, but I haven't even done that. So tonight my family had, we, we all had burgers. So I of course, uh, um, had three third pound. Like I basically had a pound of grass fed uh, beef and I divide it in thirds and then made them into, and I, I, now what I did was I added an egg and a quarter of like a heaping, not, I wouldn't say heaping, but it wasn't like a, a flat quarter teaspoon, but it was, you know, a little rounded. Anyways, a little bit of a, a quarter teaspoon of, of um, Himalayan salt, because I don't have Redmond's. Uh, got the Himalayan salt in there uh, with the pound of meat and one egg. And I just, I mashed it up with a masher and then of course made three, you know, about a third of a pound uh, of the patties and fried those up. And I was going to actually top them with a hollandaise sauce. I, I was good. I took three egg yolks and a melted um, stick of butter. You're supposed to melt it till it has like a bubbly, you know, like it's kind of bubbling. And then you slowly drizzle it into your blender, like, you know. Uh, with your three oaks on low, and so I tried to slowly drizzle it in, and you know, had the blender you know going, and then once I got everything in, turn the blender up. But it just, I didn't, I don't think it really came out. I don't think it really came out the way I remember a hollandaise sauce. So I didn't use it. I didn't. I, I was kind of nervous. It, it it seemed pretty watery. Um. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. Um, but it's been a while since I've had a hollandaise sauce. And from what I remember, when like when I had tried it, like an Eggs Benedict kind of thing, I didn't like it. But but then again, that was back, that was like at a restaurant, and I don't know what all they put in it, you know. Whereas this time, I just was going to do the um, egg yolks, butter, and salt, and it just didn't, for some reason, I don't think it came out right. I might make another attempt again at some point. I don't know. Um, but I used the Vitamix blender. I, I don't know if I can do it in the food processor. I mean, the blades are 
kind of low, but you know, when there's only like three egg yolks, I don't know if that was kind of another factor, but I was following a recipe. Um, so anyways, I didn't have the hollandaise sauce. I just ended up having the three, uh, third pound. So basically it's a total of a pound of meat with one egg in there. And of course, three bacon strips. Um, so I did make bacon. I made bacon today. Uh, I made two batches of bacon. Um, <laughs> so that was always awesome um, to, to find. And I made right bacon. So um, it was the good quality bacon. It got pretty crisp, crispy though. Possibly overdid it a little bit, but they're not black. So I don't think it's overdone, but I like crispy bacon. Um, but it took up two Tupperwares, so I'm happy. I got those in the fridge for later throughout the week. And I haven't been eating bacon every single day, but I'm trying to make sure I have it handy so when I, I want it or need it. Uh, I did have a couple more hard-boiled eggs today for a snack. I found a little, it's, it's only about like this tall, and square-wise, about, about like this, okay? And, and it's just about like this all, but so one of those little teeny Tupperwares and I actually put a bunch of Himalayan salt in there and I put it in my, in my, my work vehicle. That way when it's time for my snack and, you know, like around, I think it was around two o'clock in the afternoon, then I was able to just take my couple hard boiled eggs and took my little salt thingy and just kind of sprinkled it on. And so it was good. It was good. And uh, so, no coffee today for third day. Um, I got to say, my energy levels seem to be still good. Um, tonight's going to be my third night in a row where I do my second job, and I'm going to be on the on the road. The first two nights weren't bad. Like, last night wasn't that bad. Uh, I had pretty decent energy still throughout the night. So, so far, I don't know if coffee has really changed or I don't notice a big difference. Let me just put it that way. So I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. I know some of you might be like, come on, Josh, you know, we don't like coffee and you shouldn't either. And you should feel great. I'm, I'm, I get it. I do feel good so far. Clean week. I've been feeling good. No, no issues. Um, I had that little bit of a potty thing, uh, the, the bathroom thing, sorry about the potty word, uh, the, the, the bathroom thing, but today no issues. I don't think I've even gone today. Um, but as far as coffee goes, I will say when I got done with dinner tonight, it almost felt like I wanted to have that coffee. Like I wanted to have a, like almost like a beer, like kind of mentality of like, ah, it's been a long day. I ate and I want to wind down. I'd like to have me a cup of coffee and, and just wind down and treat myself to some coffee. It's like, I, I need it, you know, just need a good cup of coffee. Uh, and, and this sounded great at the time, but I quickly moved past that. It wasn't like a craving, just, just a desire, you know, just, just that kind of that fleeting thought when I got done with dinner, like, Hey, you know, I could use a cup of coffee right now. Like I said, like I told you guys, Coffee has almost been like a pseudo dessert for me. So, you know, it was almost like that habit of like, hey, I'm done with dinner. You know, I'm going to have me a coffee. Uh, I don't have it in the mornings. I don't know. There's just something I've always been like, I mean, unless it's like a weekend morning or something where I maybe sleep in a little bit and then I want some coffee. That's that that was the only time that I ever do it like in the morning time frames. But I've always been a late night coffee drinker. I don't know if, if any of you guys are. Let me know. Um, I've just always been like an after dinner kind of coffee person and I'll have like one tall cup. And like I said, here's my coffee cup still sitting here. It's empty. Um, but I'm not, I'm not drinking it. That's been there for the last three days. I gotta, I gotta wash it to be honest with you. It's been sitting in my studio. I gotta take it upstairs and put it in the, in the dishwasher. But, um, but no, I just been drinking my water and it, like I said, I, I don't, I haven't been able to see any improvement or, or really any change. Um, so maybe when this week is done, if I can make it the rest of the week, um, who knows, maybe I'll have a cup of coffee and see what effects it does to me after the seven days when my body's used to not having it 
who knows, maybe then I'll be able to see the effects of coffee more clearly. Because right now, I just, I don't see any difference without it. And again, maybe that's just because I only drink like one cup of coffee a day, like like what you guys see. And sometimes I've had days where I've skipped coffee. So it's not like I'm religiously drinking every single day. So anyways, um, but other than that, guys, um, I, I told you what I had to eat. I feel really good today. Um you know, I I just want to say again, guys, hang in there. Keep it up. I, I've heard a lot of comments. And, guys, remember, I try to get to your comments if I, if I miss your comment. Like, if it's been four or five days and I missed your comment, I apologize. I'm trying to get to the, all the comments, guys. But please keep commenting because I do read them all. I just don't always get to them. Uh, as far as a response, I'm trying. It's hard to keep up. I work three jobs. So believe me. And, and the third job, I've been kind of on hold a little bit because of my diet and health. I'm kind of waiting a little bit. But I've just been extremely busy editing and, and doing all kinds of stuff uh, with my jobs. So believe me, I try to sit down. I try to get to your, uh, your, your comments. It's just like tonight. I'm recording this, and I don't have much time. I've got to hurry up get this in the editor and, you know, edit it and get it to you guys, upload it as quick as possible. So for you guys, uh, but other than that, man, I just got to say you guys are awesome. And I am proud to be an ambassador for carnivore um, in a small way, <laughs> you know, nothing like some of the, some of the big names in carnivore. Um, but I, I'm trying and you guys have been amazing. So you really have, I, can't, I just can't stress enough the, the comments and the love and the, the compliments, the suggestions, the advice, tips, all that stuff. It's made such a huge impact and has kept me going guys. I'm telling you, you guys, you guys have kept me going seriously. Um, so yeah, I mean. I just, I appreciate you all. I really do. And tomorrow, you'll have a chance if you want to interact with me. Tomorrow, I'm going to go live. So be on the lookout for that. All right? All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow.